Okay, let's get this started. Um, this might not be as much of a conventional talk as it's, it's more of like me telling a story. And it's a story about uh, this guy called Greg Jensen, who was uh, one of the first, one of my first idols as a game designer. Um, and who I realized, I've realized uh, lately that he, he, he pro he's probably inspired me some in my game designing ways. And to tell this story, we need to first go back to this game that's called ZZT, released in 1991. And this is a game, as you can see, uh, built with, it's, uh, it's only ASCII graphics. Um, and in this game, you, you play Zelda-like adventures, uh, and you can also build your own worlds using this tool, the game. Um, this was released in 91, and it was created by this guy called Tim Sweeney, um, who is the man. <laughs> and why is he the man? Because he founded this company called Epic Games, who is the company of men. As you can see from this picture, also used by Niklas. And when he founded this company, uh, which CCT was the first game of, uh, it was called Epic Mega Games. Uh, and this, uh, in, in inter interviews later, Tim Sweeney has said that CCT is probably one of the reasons why he, they could build up this company through the 90s and uh, arrive at the, at the spot they are today. Uh, yeah, so in CCT, um, the, the CCT community is actually still going pretty strong, so it's been like 20 years, and you can see from these pictures that uh, they've uh, evolved some uh, in their own scope, <laughs> uh, from being quite simple graphics to somewhat more uh, elaborate uh, fades and uh, yeah, stuff like that. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, the thing you could do with this D was not only use the built-in mechanics <coughs> to build your game worlds, but also use this uh, game programming language that's called ZTT OOP, that stands for Object Oriented Programming, which is not uh, quite the, it's not in the sense of the word that we that that is uh, that like in C plus plus or anything. It's more that you could use objects on the screen and then you could script them. So it was object oriented platforming. And these games actually are from this is the first game up in the left, released in ninety one. And that Eli's House game is actually from two thousand eight, I think. So it's a it's a scope of games from then to now. So where does Greg Jansen come into this? Yeah, he was one of the guys who built games with this engine. These are some of his games, released in 93. Actually released about 10 or so more games, all in 1993. Uh, Mission Enigma is one of the best, uh, most highly regarded games of ZCT from that period. He also released uh, this epic game called Code Red. It actually was uh, the standard game world of ZZT could hold 50 game rooms, but Code Red used three separate game worlds, so it was three times the size of an ordinary game. So we used some sort of cross-passwording system to get the player to uh, warp through worlds, and it's like an epic story about a guy who wakes up in his bed <laughs> and then saves the world, and it has like eight engines or something. Um, but this wasn't the biggest, his biggest effort. It was when he released the Super Toolkit for ZTT that everything changed. Uh, this was more of a tool that allowed player to, players to use um, new objects uh, in their games. Uh, because by default in CCT you could only use seven colors, and uh, and there was there were a set of objects that we could use, 
um, mostly the characters. The characters were set. Which, oh, the characters which you could use were set by default. But using this super toolkit, you could go up to 15 colors and add eight background colors to that. So as you can see here on the right there, there are many <laughs> combinations of colors you can make. Um, and of course, TCT and all this doesn't seem so technically advanced, and it might not be uh, impressive from the outside. But in, in an, if you look at it from inside the CC2 world, this was something that really evolved the world and allowed for people to make fades with their graphics, um, which naturally made the games look more um, elaborate, as you can see from the right uh, the bottom right screen there, uh, where uh, all the characters are treated m more like pixels and it's sort of like pixel art in, in a weird form. Yeah, so this drastically changed how games would look. Um, then, in 1994, Greg Jensen created a new uh, game making system called Megazoos. Mm. This, this was based on the CCT mindset. Uh, it's also ASCII based, but in Megazoos, uh, you can edit the ASCII tables. You can, you can paint them however you want. You still only, you're limited to these 256 characters that's in the, uh, that's in the ASCII table, but in Megazoos, you could edit all of these characters to 